and Miss Gavinelli go out and grab a uh, a birthday cake. And uh, the the concept of it was because today, uh, you know, I'm so I want to celebrate uh, the uh, the one year anniversary of OMG Hackintosh. That was the original plan, but honestly, this thing is so much bigger than just a one year anniversary for Hackintosh. You know, I've been doing these videos for a few years now, um, and uh, I didn't start naming them OMG Hackintosh until. Uh, last January but it's so much more bigger than you know the name and being able to do it for a year it's uh, I want to take this time and celebrate you guys it's, this is not me being corny or it's not a joke but I'm just being honest um, I want to thank you all for watching the videos I know I'm not consistent with the videos you know um, it's not that I've run out of ideas. I always do these videos to try to motivate people and help people. You guys are my motivation. Um, I don't try to make the same type of videos because honestly, you can scour uh, YouTube and find a whole bunch of uh, tutorials and stuff. What I do like doing is when somebody misinforms somebody, I do like being the one saying, hey, that doesn't work because I tried it. I don't throw it in their face, you know, but I, I like to show and prove. I like to show and prove. I don't like just telling you to do something and I don't and I'm not for sure that it don't work. So I try to show and prove so you'll take my word for it. So you'll see it's not baloney. So um I also wanted to celebrate the uh the Gavinelli package because the Gavinelli package is actually a year old too. And I'm surprised that you guys are subscribing and you're asking me for this package and you know I'm glad that I help a lot of people out. Really, I am. What I also want to talk about is uh, some people are probably upset because I don't respond to them. Uh, in some cases, I don't get a lot of requests until, like, uh, I shouldn't say I don't get a lot of requests. I don't get a few requests until later on because what happens is YouTube sometimes it spams out your uh, it spams out your comments. So it's always better to email me or just send me a message instead of a comment. So. That's just for future reference for anybody else that just happened to watch this video. Um, what else can I say? Uh, for those who downloaded the Gavinelli package and you're having problems with it, it's not that the package does not work. Rule number one, rule number one. For those who see the package and they're trying to use it for anything else other than the Dell Vostro 1510, stop that shit. I didn't make it for any other laptop. I didn't test any other laptop with the Gavinelli package. Only the Vostro 1510. I don't want you to be mad because, you, you know, at first it was running good. You just needed Quartz Extreme. So you decide, hey, I like the, I, I want to try the, 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 the Kex that he has in his package. And the next thing you know, you're getting kernel panics. Please, if you don't have a Vostro 1510, do not ask me for the package. If you have a Vostro 1520, do not ask me for the package. It does not work for the 1520. All right. Now, if you're having problems, you know, if you're still having problems with a, with with uh, installing uh, lying on lying on there, and you have the package, let me say this to you. I've stated before that the Gavinelli package. Um, I did a lot of tests trying to come up with the ultimate install package uh, for the Dell Vostro 1510 and honestly it's a pain in the ass to uh, to Hackintosh uh, a laptop well the Vostro 15 it was a, it's, it's really a pain in the ass and um, you just have to take your time and really pay attention to what you do what you're doing because sometimes it might be your fault it might be your fault it might be something you missed it might be something you did wrong um, if you're not getting the results that you want to get with your Hackintosh, I'm not being cocky. I'm just saying I've made those same mistakes. There's been, I'm sure there's been plenty of you who, who was working on your Hackintosh and then, you know, you kept having kernel panics or whatever. And then you go back over what you did and you're like, oh, damn, I didn't do this. Or that's where I messed up at. I forgot to this. Or I shouldn't have that. Or I didn't go on my BIOS and check my settings or. Uh, I didn't switch to A, what is it, A-C-H-I or A-H-C-I, whatever. But I'm sure you've had those moments. So 
with that being said, you know, you know, keep trying, don't give up. I know it's it's, it's crazy. If you can't if you can't handle it, then it's nothing wrong with saving your money up and getting you a MacBook. If a MacBook's too much, grab a MacBook Air. If that's too much, you can always grab a Mac Mini. So, um, I want to announce I got another Apple product. You know, I got my little iPhone 4S. You see the little bubbles on it. This is not. It doesn't look like this because I I got it secondhand or I got it off of a uh, or I got it off of um, eBay or anything. I put one of these covers, these little protective covers on it, and uh, it looked like it looked like shit on a stick. So it's brand new. I got you know this is my Christmas present. It's the 4S. I didn't get the 5 because I didn't see anything significant in the 5 that I wanted. So why well, spend all that money? You know, and you really don't need all that stuff. Now that I have the iPhone 4S, a lot of people, I've seen like posts like people was wondering, should they keep their iPod 4S? I mean, I'm sorry, should they keep the iPod 4G? And my answer to that is, hell yeah, keep that bad boy. Uh, you know, I say keep it because I'm doing different things in my house. I'm using this thing for all kinds of stuff. Uh, remote, HTPC remote, home theater, PC remote, um, play games on it. Um, you would think I would do that with this because I have 16 gigs of space on here and I only have 8 on here. But I don't know. I'm very funny with putting a lot of stuff on here, man. All I do is answer phone calls and talk to Siri about nonsense. So, anyway. Again, I just want to say, you know, thank you guys. Thank you for rolling with me um, on this OMG Hackintosh thing. And this is this is for you. I wish I can, you know, teleport you a slice of cake. Even, but it's not even big enough for a lot of you guys. Cause I started out, I started out with like what, somewhere around 10 subscribers, and now I have what 192. January, I had uh, January 1st of this year. It was 181 subs. As of today, it's 192. So. Thank you guys, and uh, that's all I got to say about that. Love you.